Greetings, and welcome to the second video in the creation series. This is called Creation and Shielding. Now, it's important for you to have viewed the Path of Creation video before viewing this video. Otherwise, it won't make any freaking sense to you. Now, beginners may need a brief explanation of shielding. In essence, shielding is meant to keep the psychic crap out. Yeah, yep, that's a technical term. <laughs> psychic crap. As I'm recording this, it's a time of year heading towards Samhain. At this time of year, the veil between the worlds grows thinner, which means that your particular talents may seem to be getting stronger. You're feeling more, seeing more, sensing more. For example, if you're a medium, you may be sensing a lot more spirits. But you will want to keep those at arm's length. You don't want them impinging on your daily life. You don't want to have them hanging around or surprising you while you're driving or while concentrating on something at work. And this is where shielding comes into play. Shields can help you mute unwanted phenomena. Before we start, you'll need to think of an object you carry with you every day. Now, I'm not talking about your cell phone. It can be a piece of jewelry, like a pendant or a bracelet. Um, if it's metal, it should preferably be silver, but copper and gold will work as well. And if it has a stone, like a crystal point, like this one right here, or this one right here, which is smoky quartz, which talk about in a second it's even better and speaking of cell phones excess energy may fry electronics so you definitely don't want to use your smartwatch or your brand new apple phone for this ending up with a $500 or more slab of junk could definitely ruin your day now the best stones for shielding would be black tourmaline smoky quartz, and selenite. At this point, I should mention that any stone or crystal or crystal point can hold a charge, which is what we're going to do here. So if you don't have any of those particular stones, that's okay. But you won't, don't want to use a stone like malachite, which absorbs negative energy. That would be kind of defeating the purpose of shielding. Make sense? You'll be taking this object into the path working, so it could be good to have it with you before you actually start the meditation. Now it's time for the standard disclaimer. <sighs> this is a path working or guided meditation. It is meant to be watched or listened to while sitting or laying down in a comfortable position. Never listen to or watch this while driving or doing an activity like walking or bicycling. Never ever while using any motor vehicle. I need to emphasize that. Now that that's out of the way, let's begin. Take a deep breath. Hold it in for a count of two. And when you breathe out, let it all out. Do it again. Deep breath and hold. Let it all out. Remember the door from the first video? Picture it again. Open it. Step through and find yourself back in the gray fog of the step of creation. Reach out and draw a general outline of a human shape. Remember from the first video that whatever you draw hangs there for a while and it will become solid. The same thing happens to that human shape you just drew. Now you can reach out and draw that human shape to you. You find that as you do, it begins to cling to you, to 
don't be alarmed. You will find that you can breathe and see through it. And it's also malleable. You can shape it. You can make it thicker or thinner as needed. It can be as thick as a brick wall, which you can see through, or thin as saran wrap. Now picture the object we talked about earlier. Grabbing the shield with your hand, draw it into the object. You can release it to be drawn about your body again with a wave of your hand. Draw it back into the object, and then back out again. Do it a few more times until it becomes easy for you. Now it's time to go back through the door and into your physical body, to this place and this time. Wiggle your fingers and toes to get yourself used to the feeling of being in your physical body. And let your muscles stretch out a little before trying to move. In the next video, I'll be giving you a little more explanation, and it'll be fairly brief, on what you can do with the shields and how you may change them as you need it. For now, thank you for watching and please like the video. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Bright blessings and Mark Silver out for now.